I'm Robert Klein, and this is The Art of Fighting. This is Sam Gilbert. For the last four years, he's been training about five hours a day, six days a week, for one competition. The World Shinkyok Shinkai Karate Championship. Shinkyok Shinkai is a full-contact karate style developed the last century by the legendary martial arts innovator Masoyama. Right now, we are watching his weight training. Sam moved to Japan four years ago just to prepare for this competition. He spent his first 10 months as a Lifen Uchideshi student training every day in the dojo. He then went on his own training pilgrimage at three different dojos four to five hours a day, six days a week for the last three years. Sam is very intimate with pain and sweat. Due to his hardcore lifting and running, he looks more like a crew roar than a karate champion. This is one long hill, and Sam will run it many, many times. This is a super heavy duty. Not as super heavy duty as I should be. <laughs> <laughs> it still hurts. <laughs> We're now at one of Sam's gyms that specializes in Gundam, which is a form of armored sparring. Here, Sam is doing a timed kick drill. So it was 200, 200 kicks. kicks in 106 seconds. No, uh, yes, no. Yes, 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 yes. 106. 200 kicks in, yeah, 106. that many headshots, yeah. <laughs> So it was my best time so far. Right. Sam's main mentor is this man Tsukamoto Sensei, who is kind of a half monk, half surfer boy, and a living legend in karate circles. He won the world tournament at only 21 and has won all the major tournaments in his form of karate. He has the most knockouts of any fighter. He is also the most unorthodox and creative of any fighter, and he is also a fanatical surfer, hence the beachwear of almost everyone in his dojo. These are some of the quick, unpredictable moves that make Sukamoto a knockout artist. Sam is taking abuse to his stomach, various parts of his legs, and then back to his stomach to prepare himself mentally and physically for the pain of competition. The moment of truth has come, and Sam holds the banner as the Australian champion and the team captain for the Australian team. People have come from all over the world to participate. Who's worrying you? Uh, no one at this stage. I'm a year with the fucking camera. <laughs> He trained hard. I was filming him training. He trained hard. Yes. Yeah, he was brutal. He deserves to do well. Yeah, I agree. He's been very dedicated for uh, 20 years, so he's been funny. Yeah, he's been really yeah. now. Yeah, he's graduated. For the most serious competitors. He's graduated. <laughs> Sam's first fight is a lackluster win. Sam's second fight is even. 30 seconds! While Sam looks like he's doing well, the judges insist that it's a draw and they must keep fighting. Yes, 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 yes! Yes, yes Sam! Sam is scoring what appears to be good shots, but cannot finish him off. Need to rush from now. Now's the time to rush. Last 30. 30 second rush. Rush. Inside low kick. Punch forward. 10 seconds. Last 10. Get 
the punch! It is declared a draw again. The opponent hits Sam in the mouth with this upside down Kyokushin kick and almost knocks him out. Sam clearly was not expecting it. The judges decide against Sam. After two overtimes, that one kick seemed to be the deciding factor. To Sam about it a week later. I guess it's only just starting to sink in that the, the tournament's over and uh, I didn't really get the result that I was expecting. Um, you know, I'd worked for it for four years and really I thought you know, this would be where I'd, where I'd peak at 26. Is all this worth it? <sighs> it's a big question, yeah. Is it all worth it? Um, All this pain and suffering, all this sweat, what makes you want it this badly? That's something that I can't really put my finger on. Um, I guess I've just got a passion for what I do and... Uh, but you want to win. I want to win. <laughs> I want to win. Sam takes a moment to pay his respects at the grave of the founder, Masoyama. Sam worked harder than probably 99% of the competitors, yet in the end, his hopes and dreams were a bit like the smoke of this incense. The Buddhists believe desire, hope, and dreams are just painful illusions. Are they right? I don't know. I'm your host, Robert Klein, and this is The Art of Fighting.